Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and this is No BS Coaching Advice on Blab.im. I spend some time every day at midday from 12 to no later than 12.30. Sometimes it's a little shorter if no one has the courage to sit down with me. And I spend some time coaching people to play big. Because at the end of the day, I think most people have gotten into some bad habits where they've been conditioned to play small ball. If you're not familiar with that term, it's just play within a confined box, you know, keep it simple, no opportunity for really big success. And thus, you know, it's no wonder that they feel miserable about their lives and about their work. So let me just check to see if someone would like to join me in the seat. I've got a few people in the room with me. Hey, Peter, welcome. I know someone else by the same name as you, same full name. Does something completely different. Attorney out of New York, great guy. Anyway, I'm going to stop stalling and just start talking. You know, why is it corporate life is so painful? You know, what is it that people use to describe their corporate experience? It ain't fun, folks. You know that. And often, as I've said many times, people join, you know, start in school and they're conditioned to behave a particular way in order to get to the great college. And they are conditioned to behave the same way, you know, sit at your desk, shut up, regurgitate facts in order to get to, you know, once they're in that great college to get the great job. And they spend 20 years of their life with this conditioning and they feel choked. They feel pain. And they, it's no wonder that they wind up sitting at their desk at work or doing stuff for whatever small firm that has them out and about. And they hate their work and they hate their lives. You know, the, the promise made to them that they'll have the good job at the end of the day isn't borne out by the reality. And that's not a criticism of capitalism, corporate America. Well, it is a criticism of corporate America, but it's a, a criticism of systems in general that deceive people into believing that at the end of the day, there are going to be great opportunities for personal and professional success within these rules. Because frankly, the rules suck. Now, I was reading a blog recently. I'll just regurgitate it back to you. So excuse me if I do a quick read here. Why is it that most people describe the corporate American work culture as difficult? And trust me, the word difficult is an understatement when I consider words I've heard other people use to describe it. Struggling to find both happiness and success in corporate America is the norm, not the exception. Almost everybody has issues there, and most of these issues consist of many outside circumstances that make their life miserable at work. The boss you can't get along with, the mean and hateful coworker, the deceitful management team. I could keep reading this, but it's irrelevant. You get the point. You know, I worked at a place for many years where management really backed this one guy who was a a great salesperson, but one of the reasons he was a great salesperson is he stole from his colleagues and lied to them and booked business using applicants that he took from them and management wouldn't stand up uh, to him because he was producing revenue through theft and they just wanted the money. And you get the message. Eventually, people in the office had to band together to confront management about their own behavior, what they were doing to not support us. And eventually they gave them an ultimatum not to steal. And about two weeks later, I found them in a situation where he was stealing people from me to try and get him onto his own job board where he would sell the data to other people. Awful. And that's what happens way too often. There are people in organizations who won't play by the rules and the thieves and not only the thieves from management but they're stealing the life out of the people who only care so who only care for doing great work and being uh, and helping that business thrive so i'll simply say if you're a business owner and let me just see who's joined me sammy welcome uh, if you're a business owner, you have to be aware, aware of your people. 
and the things that you're doing to subvert them there, the things that you're doing that harm them, that keep them confined in, in behaviors that don't serve you. You see, most of the time you're teaching people to live off a to-do list rather than just working to get results in an honest way. You're demanding that they count phone calls or um, well, you know, sales is a good thing to get results for, but they're not involved with the mission of your organization. There's no purpose in it for them. They're just there for the money. That's as, as far as it goes. They drive customers away. They drive people away and it becomes a, a, a cancer in your organization because to you, the only thing that matters is a dollar. Bad choice. Uh, again, I've worked for firms where that was the environment. And, you know, I just kept my head down for a while until I decided it was time to walk out. I coach people to play bigger. And that's job hunters, business people, solopreneurs. I want to help people play big because I found that many people are choked. And as I suspect a couple of my coaches who are in the room with me know, you know, you choke people, you don't get your best out of them. It's, you know, you manage people rather than coach them, you don't get the best out of them. All you're doing is rule followers who have no creativity, no spark in their life, and they're like widgets on an assembly line producing sales or doing customer service or whatever you need them to do. It's an awful experience for them and counterproductive for you. Melissa, welcome. And hey, Jenny, welcome back. So I'll simply say that there are great opportunities out there to hire a coach. And yes, I do coaching. I mean, there, as I mentioned, there have been a couple of coaches in the room with me. There's great opportunities to bring coaches on to help you look at your situation differently and still get the sales results that you want. Now, if you're a solopreneur, sometimes the issue, well, there are many different issues that you may be facing. Excuse me, I'm just going to take my hat off for now. There are many issues that you tend to face, including, you know, repetitive behaviors that aren't getting the results that you want. Yeah. For someone coaching you, the idea is to get you out of that same rut, that same groove, cranking things out the same way over and over again. Did you know repetitive behavior is one of those pre-indicators of the eventual out, uh, onset of Alzheimer's? That repetitive behavior will stifle your mind and your creativity over the course of time? If you're 24, maybe not in the, in, in the immediate future, but if you look at this face, I'm not 24 anymore. And I'm well aware of, of how these repetitive behaviors have harmed me, and I want to help you head off them harming you. So how can you play big? Well, number one is instead of living by your, your to-do list, start thinking of the results that you want to play for. What do you want to get out of this situation that's going to help you achieve what you want to? Start thinking of results instead of to-dos. Stop thinking in terms of, Nathan, welcome. Well, you can stop. You can start thinking of Nathan. <laughs> it's okay. But um, stop thinking in terms of behaviors that are not supportive of where you want to be in your life. Start looking at change, and instead of trying to tough it out yourself by yourself, try to get some support in your life. Coaching is a great avenue for that. Lisa, well, I'm sorry, Luis, welcome. Coaching is a great avenue for that because, well, frankly, if you could make this change on your own, you would have done it already, right? Oh, I just have to apply willpower. How's that work for you in life? How much are you overweight? How out of shape are you? Are you smoking still? Most people can't do it by force of will. It doesn't work that well. But with support, with coaching, with a game plan that you put together with a coach, maybe, dare I say, with the spirit of fun and play brought into the equation, you can get the results that you want. Now, 
I do coaching. Uh, if you'd like to email me about that, you can email me at jeffaltmancoach at gmail.com. Or you can find out more about me at my website, which is nobscoachingadvice.com. While you're at the site, get some encouragement. I put some new posts up every week. Uh, you can also find me, excuse me, on YouTube. Uh, so it's Jeff Altman Coach is my account on YouTube for this. Or if you want to look more from a job search or staffing perspective, look at my account, The Big Game Hunter TV. There I have more than 1,500 videos about job search and hiring to help you with that part of your, your life. So just want to pause for a second, see if anyone would like to join me. Okay, shy people today. So I'll simply sign out by saying, hope you enjoyed today's blab. I'll be back tomorrow with more coaching advice for you. And I'll take one last check to see if someone would like to join. I apologize. Blue Deer, would you like to join me before I sign off? Grab a seat. I don't bite. Okay, so uh, no one decided to join. That's okay. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you found this helpful. Take care.